Hi everyone, this is John from Civil Center. Welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering students and professionals. And for that, we keep making videos on different softwares. So, what we are going to learn today? Today, we will learn how you can prepare your model before you have to render it. So, I will just share my screen and show you what are the things that we need to keep in mind before we can start our rendering. So let's start. As we know, 3D modeling is a time taking process. So you must take a break before you start your rendering. Now, I have already completed my modeling and now I have to render it. So I will just do some final checks. So I will check for the groovings and I will also check for the colors if I have missed anywhere or not so over here i have missed the color so that is a simple process i will just choose the same color and put it in the gap now in this video you also learned how you can match the color of your model now over here you can see just below the glass there is a gap so i need to go into the group and then i will just draw a line over here so I have double clicked it and now I can draw a line over here which will create a plane over here. Now I will change the color and for that I will use the match color properties. Now over here everything seems fine. So I will just go in the bottom of the model and check whether I have missed something or not. So I have missed one thing and I will just draw a line and create a plane over here. However, if you will miss anything in the bottom, that will not make much difference in your rendered image because anyway, it will not be visible. Now, I'm just rotating my model and having a final look at it. Now that I'm completely assured that my model is ready for render, so I will export it. But before exporting, I am going for the front view And now I will export it in 3D model in FBX format. So always export your model in the desired file. Like this is our client and I want to export it over here. So in this video, you have learned how you can match the properties and how you can export the SketchUp file. So these were the two bonus points. But the basic thing that we have learned in this video is that what are the things that we need to keep in mind before starting our rendering? So that was all for today. And if you want to join our live classes, then you can find the link in the description. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.